Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. And this is a review, okay? It is a review, okay? If you have not done so, y'all thought about it. Look, I put the picture before you to say what it is. I just stopped saying names now. But if you have not done so, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and look at my whole Jaybird. Jaybird. Dun, 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 dun. And all that goodness, okay, all the goodness. Do not forget to like this video, please, and thank you. You can also comment in the comment section below. You know, hit the share button to share it to your social media. You can always hit that notification bell. The notification bell is right next to the subscribe button. Click the bell, you know, so that when I have new videos, it will tell you that they are there. Okay, um, follow me on Instagram and or Twitter at J underscore leads underscore corner and all of that is where right in front of your face on the screen. Okay, let's get into this episode tonight. You know, Power is going to be 15 episodes this season. We're going to get the first 10 episodes and then the other five will come at the January. So I just feel like what are we what are we getting to? Like I'm almost confused. I, I know it's ghosts against everybody, but I still feel like it's a little all over the place. You know, I'm like, if this is supposed to be the last season of this era of, you know, the storyline or whatever, it's 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 just all over girl, it's just, it's all over the place. She didn't brought Vincent and them back. Uh oh, we have we, we we shall see. So we see ghosts. Ghost is up here hallucinating, okay? Ghost up here talking to Angela, okay? And we all know that she's not here no more. We know that she is in the upper room somewhere with other people, okay? And so Angela is also talking to him, okay? Telling him that he's getting his he is getting in his own way. You know what I'm saying how he always showed told how he always chose Tommy or the life over her, you know what I'm saying? You know, and if I was the female witness, you know, what would you have done to me? uh Jamie and then she brings up how you know you're you're guilty about what happened to him if you're so guilty about what happened to me why is Tommy still alive okay why haven't you know why is it why haven't you done anything about that so he kind of comes to whatever and we see Jason call him you know Jason's like you know what you know Tommy got me Alicia so I need my money now okay immediately and I'm like how are you hallucinating and taking phone calls at the same time honey I don't know so we see Tommy Tommy is at his warehouse with three to hardware okay we know it's two bit spanky I think in BG I think that's their name but you know what I'm saying I call them three the hard way okay and he's talking to him about you know is a shit been coming in and everything and as he's talking his phone keep going off they're like why his phone keep going off why he keep ignoring the we 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 get a phone or whatever it gotta be your girlfriend or whatever bro I got 20 bucks it's Keisha I got 20 it's probably his mama <sighs> and we see it's Keisha texting about his mama because what his mama is at the house and she stay there for a couple days for some reason or another I didn't pay attention to, I did not pay attention to why so Tommy goes home you know her and Keisha meet and it's cool or whatever what no beef wasn't and Tommy said you know what you know fine or whatever and Keisha cooked something or whatever and the mom said you know the last one didn't cook you know I didn't like her that much she didn't cook did you hear about what happened to the last one mm -hmm. it didn't end bad it didn't it didn't end well I'm not because she's snitching on the side last mama don't because you know I don't I think he should still think that Holly and Tommy just broke up I mean he broke us he broke her broke her neck anyway so we see that and it is what it is now we see Cooper Cooper is still meeting with you know Proctor's ex-wife who's trying to get the daughter back but I'm like I don't think she's a good mother and why is that because he's listening to the little unicorn recording and it's showing the little girl like you're I don't like you you're such a bitch oh my god you're about you were getting your high and the mama slaps her you're a bitch too i'm like she's like 10 now she's a bitch at 10 so she slapped the little girl but all of this is on the recording so it's proof that the mama is not the better choice for the child okay not at all and proctor like um this is not any kind of evidence against your your ex-husband like this is this would look bad on you in court like i need you to get me something you know what i'm saying or else you not gonna get your daughter back and so it's like well all i know is some guy named Ta no some guy named tommy came to visit him my daughter told me that you know he came to visit some tall white guy with blonde hair oh 
Yeah, that's good information. So, we do see Ghost. Ghost is at work. Okay, Ghost is at Truth. He's up in his office. He mind his own business. And then Proctor walks in, and Proctor walks in with Dre. I said, Dre? Snitching Dre? A, a, a team switching Dre? What is going on here? And Ghost was pissed. Was like, uh-uh. Pin to the eye. I will pin you to this wall. What is you doing here? Okay? And as you see, things got a little bit tense between them. But I'm like, you know what, Ghost? He, I mean, Dre deserves whatever Ghost does to him. Truth be told. Because in a, in, a, in a way, Dre is at fault for things that have happened just as much as Ghost is at fault. And just as much as Tommy. Just, just as much as everybody else is at fault. What is he doing? Probably like, look, give him a chance to talk. Let him tell you what he told me. It's a reason that I brought him here. The fans to have cases on all of us me you tasha tommy and ghost he has some information i just let him say what he got to say now so dre bring up how you know they got a witness it's the whole witness against you whatever she's gonna talk she's gonna take you down you know they want me to come back and work for you so that i can tell them what you got going on or whatever and this is what's going on so we see he at least was honest about the reason he back because he knew he couldn't get back in without saying that. But we still know you can't trust Dre. No one can trust Dre. I don't think Dre trusts Dre, truth be told, okay? And so, you know, he's like, how, how, why would I believe you? Like, why would I believe you? He, Proctor, he's a liar, Joe. He's a liar. We can't believe nothing he say. Man, look, they got my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, they got my daughter, and I have to get back in with you to get my daughter back. And, you know, and they want me to do this or whatever, you know, and they got this, it's a girl witness and or whatever. You know, I know that for fact I heard them say that. So, go back, look, you know what I'm saying? You're going to wear a wire and talk to, and talk to, to, to Cooper. Tell him, ain't nothing up. I'm on the up and up or whatever, and I'm and leave me be. You know, and if you do anything, you say anything out the way, I will sign your skull with my pen. I'm like, with the ghost pen? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Proctor in the hallway tell Trey, look, you need to find that witness, okay? That's what you, if you want to earn our trust, find the witness. I'm like, Proctor, why are you, you between to that in there with James? Mm-hmm. Mm. Anyway, so he leaves or whatever. So we see Tasha. Tasha is at her new daycare and everything, and she's is real empty. Okay, she has not really opened it up yet. It's, it's nothing there anyway. And we see someone comes in, a parent. Okay, his name was Q. Okay, now Q look. I've seen Q on other stuff. I but I, he looks very familiar. So Q come in because he's a new parent. He stays around the corner, whatever. He just got custody of his daughter because the mama. Is on drugs or whatnot. Little four year old little girl, he's a construction worker or whatnot. So he needs a daycare that's close by. And God, thank, thank God, this daycare is opening up right around the corner from me or whatever. Okay, hey Q, I'm Tasha. This is my establishment. I'm not fully open. I'll be open up pretty soon, whatever. And as they talking or whatever, they flirt. I'm like, hi y'all, flirting this soon. What's what's going on? And Tasha just is smiling. Well, you know what? I don't have no cards yet, so I want you put down your information. And I'll call you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like, y'all flirting. It's too soon. It's just, it's just too soon. Girl, it's just too soon if you ask me. So she then gets a call from the bank asking her if she meant to sign the paperwork with her married name, her married last name versus her maiden name when they went and closed the trust fund for Raina. And she's like, what? When did I come in and do that? Oh, your husband came in with the forms or whatever. He said that you signed at home, right? She's like, oh, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. Okay. And so, of course, she's pissed off or whatever. I'm like, Lord Jesus. But we see what Ghost did with the money. Ghost did that because he had to pay Jason. And as we know, he running out of money. So, he, you know, did it that way. So, we see Jason's goons come with the money, whatever. Like, look, you need to keep paying Jason because if you don't, we're going to get you. You're going to get God. He said, well, y'all can't get me because if y'all get me, you won't be getting paid. Okay? If you want the monies, I have to be alive for that. Okay? And not only that, you need to tell Jason to leave me be because I have to be doing my business at my job to get money. Okay? He can't keep pressing me about things. Okay? You need to leave me alone. You pay or you die. I'm looking like, stop being so mean. And Ghost is like, I said what I said okay and then they leave cool we then see James and Rashad meet up a little bit just because Rashad like you know is you doing anything that's gonna get you into some trouble no not at all 
Mm -mm. And James walks away and we see Rashad call that man who we hired from that campaign, um, a situation, whatever. He said, hey, keep your eye on, on, on St. Patrick because he can see up to something and let me know what he be doing. I'm like, you still talking to that man? Okay, if you say so. Now, we see a scene with Tariq. Tariq is at school. He gets a text from Vincent. Vincent is the Italian that Tommy used to do business with or whatever. And Vincent texts Tariq and say, you know what I'm saying? It's delivery time or, or whatever he says. Delivery time, shipping time. It's time for some product, okay? We then see Tariq is sneaking into a warehouse. I'm like, where? what is he doing? Like, what's going on? He's sneaking into Tommy's warehouse, okay? He snuck in the back door, in the back window some kind of way. He was in there getting them pills from Tommy's stash. I'm like, you robbing your uncle? Girl, you can't be, can't be robbing family, whatever. But as he's doing that, 2BG and Spanky come in. And they talking, so he had or whatever. Is and he? so Tariq let them keep talking. And he sneaks out the back door. So we then see Tasha. Tasha goes to Rashad's office, the campaign office, because she's pissed off. Y'all need to know who y'all in bed with, okay? Where's Rashad? And Ramona, like he, Ramona says, he's not here. What's, what's wrong? He needs to know who he in bed with, okay? Because James went and dissolved the Queen, the Raina's, um, damn it, Raina's, uh, trust fund or whatever. And I can't believe he did that. I can't, I can't believe it, okay? So mainly, Tasha's upset because, because she know he took money from Raina's, um, trust fund. You know, she felt like half of that money was mine. You know, I, I can't believe this. And Ramona like, calm down. I'm pretty sure that he took that money out for your daughter's, you know, the queen child product, which is supposed to honor your daughter, right? I don't care, okay? I don't care. Half of that money was mine. I'm like, girl, what is... Tasha, calm down. Tasha be on, girl, she be pissed off and sometimes she just jump off the handles. I'm like, I don't think you should be going down to Rashad and them place complaining to them about stuff. But I'm like, girl, whatever. So... Ramona, like, you know what, you know, just calm down, you know what I'm saying? Look, we already gave you, you know, all what you needed to open up your daycare, whatever. Like, just calm down. Like, maybe don't worry about James so much, you know what I'm saying? Maybe focus on yourself for what you want to do, okay? You know, that's what you could do. And, girl, I don't want to hear that, okay? I don't care about that. And then she brings like, you know what, when I got my divorce, when I was, when I was, when I got my divorce and then went to crap or whatever, I left for nothing. All I have is my name. Girl, I don't care about that. You don't have no kids. You know, yes. I lost one child. I still have two more. And they cost money, okay? Money, 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 money. They cost and I need it, okay? That's the whole reason why I opened my dang on daycare, okay? Because I need to do things for me. I have to put food on my kids' table. So, you know, I, I just, I, I need things because I have to rebuild my life. You can't make me, you know what I'm saying, do things the way you did them. For the most part, you know, nothing comes from the conversation besides... Tasha feel like, you know, her and Ramona are on two different spectrums. And how Ramona feel like, you know, Ghost James, if he did take the money out, he used it for the project. Now he used it to, to pay off some debts <laughs> for taking out, or trying to take out, uh, trying to take out Tommy. And, I mean, I feel like, one, Tasha issues should be with Ghost, not Ramona, or even with Shy. Because my thing is, you about to be doing some things illegal too, so girl, calm down. You know what I'm saying? The, the pot came, you tell her on the kettle. So we see Tommy. And Tommy is about to have the shipments and the drop offs or whatever. And do like, we can't leave, man. You know what I'm saying? The gas coming at all kinds of blocked off here. We we can't get out of here. We can't get out of here at all. What 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 we gonna, what we gonna do? So Tommy and Two Big get in the ambulance thing, and they drive around with the siren on, so they get into traffic pretty easy. Oh man, see this is easy. So we should have been, been, we should have been doing this stuff. We should have been doing this. Wait, I can't. It's too dark. Hold on. Anyway, <laughs> so again, Tommy and Two Big is in the, the the ambulance getting off through traffic. But however, we see Ghost watching them. In his killer vest. Okay, y'all know when he put that that black vest on, somebody about to go. So, but we also see as Ghost is watching them, Rashad's dude was watching Ghost. And he then calls, say, you know, hey, man, he up to something. So, whatever you got coming, better come real fast because something to go down. So, Ghost is running. Okay, running, running, running. And we see he's trying to run because he had a, he had a truck parked like a couple blocks away. So, Ghost had the place blocked off to where they could only go one way. 
excuse me, and he had his car parked where it was a little truck parked or whatever to where he would come right out and hit the the the, the truck or whatever. And he showed up was like, boom, boom, whole little crash. I'm like, what is going on? And he completely T-boned the ambulance truck or whatever. And I'm looking like, go, but how are you going to drive the car? You just crashed the car. And now it's a whole shootout. Tommy's like, oh, shoot. So Tommy see that his ghost, they shoot back and forth. Two bit like, what is going on? So it's, it's a whole little shootout. You know what I'm saying? Pew, 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 pew. I'm like, in broad daylight, in broad daylight. Now, because he T-boned the car, Tommy can drive off because Ghost could not because Ghost's car was too damaged. Then the cop car pull up with two cops that made Ghost get out. Now, Ghost was about to shoot them, but he didn't, okay? He was smart enough and just got out and was like, you know what? Cool. They take Ghost back to his office at Truth. He's like, what? Why are we come? What? What we? What we here for? And Rashad is there. Okay, Rashad is in Ghost desk. Like, mm -hmm, I knew you would do something stupid. I knew that you would do something that you was not supposed to do. I have to remind you who you're dealing with. I'm looking like Rashad. I don't think you, <laughs> I don't think you put, I don't think that's going to go good if you brought it, you know, I just knew you would do something stupid, you know, and luckily, you know what I'm saying, I was having you follow, and luckily, you know, these two cops are good with me, and luckily this and luckily that, whatever, meaning, you was going to do something stupid, you did something stupid, and luckily you wasn't, you know, killed, you wasn't arrested or whatever, you know, I got them on my payroll, so you know what I'm saying, they brought you to me, okay, I, stop it now, okay, I need you to cut it out or whatever. All this stops here, James. And then two guys leave out the two cops. It was like two real cops. You forget who you're dealing with, says Ghost to Rashad. You know what I'm saying? I did something that had to be done. You know what I'm saying? You so stupid. You know what I'm saying? The person I was after is more dangerous than you think. I'm saying I was taking him out because he can hurt the campaign, okay? He can hurt you and me, okay? You need to get out of my way, Rashad. And Rashad now feels dumb. Like, I did it because it's these. I, this is what I do for you. I do things that you can't do. I didn't tell you that you would not be involved. Okay, he is a dangerous man, and now you. They got these two cops involved, and I bet they have families. You, know, you even got them involved. They families involved too. I told you I do what I do, so you don't have to do. Okay, that's why I am here. And he basically make Rashad feel dumb. Like I wasn't not doing something crazy, but I did, I was doing what, what had to be done, because Tommy is, you know, he's a whole liability, and I'm mean, he just mad at Tommy too, but he also doing it because Angela Ghost is in his head or whatever, so he brings up how, you know what I'm saying, now he gonna know, one, I have pulled somewhere, because how else would I be able to get the gas company out there to do all of that, so, you know, he gonna kind of put two and two together, I'm trying to keep your stuff as governor separate from what I be doing, okay? So, you don't be done, whatever, not get the fuck out of my office. I said, oh, hey, ghost, hey, James. He said, Rashad, stay out of my way. And Rashad walked away like a little hurt puppy, like a little hurt puppy. Anyway, so, you know, Q, come by to see Tasha, okay? And he like, you know, hey, I just want to know if you want to, like, go on a date or something, go to the little bar, get a little drink. <laughs> um, no, I don't like bars. I don't like clubs. Oh, no, but I have this wine at my desk, and then they start drinking some wine. You know, laughing and talking or whatever. He bring up how the the the, the baby mama or whatever you know ain't in the picture because she chose drugs or whatever. And how he's a new dad, and she brings up how yeah, you know my child father, my my ex husband is this or that or whatever, but he was a good father. Blah 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 blah. Oh, so where is he? Um, he's. You know what I. I don't want to talk about that or whatever. And then they just start kissing. I'm like, you just met this strange man, okay? What? What? And I don't trust him. It's something about him. He, he, he to me, he came in with an agenda. I'm like, how do we know this ain't like Terry brother? And he knew that she was messing with um her brother and not the brother missing. How we know that? How do we not know that? But I digress. Anyway. You know, they kissing, hugging, hugging, kissing, getting all hot and heavy in her office or whatever. And then he started taking his clothes. I'm like, you know, again, Tasha, another man, Tasha, girl, go for it. I'm like, you can't be out here. You cannot be out here fucking strangers in your office, in the daycare office. Girl, what's wrong with you? But she catches herself. Wait, I can't do this, okay? Put your clothes back on or whatever. This is not who I want to be. I don't want to be this. He's like, okay. So, how about we go out on a date? Like, how about we go out on a real day? Yes, on a real day. Okay, she's like, I'll call you. I'm my girl. Okay. 
go out with a cutie. So I'm like, he gonna be ghost next victim if you ask me. So we see Dre wearing a wire. He goes in to talk to Proctor. Not Proctor. Cooper. And Proctor and Ghost is in the van outside listening to the wire. And Dre said, look, I'm back in or whatever. But it seemed he on the up and up. He just came back, whatever. It's just a club thing. Like, it seemed like he ain't doing it. Like, he seemed clean right now or whatnot. Uh-uh. He ain't clean. If he clean, I'm better Crocker. I don't know. But Cooper does not. Why? The t- I'm always putting it on bright stuff so it can be flickering. And now ain't nothing flickering. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, there we go. Anyway, so he's again like he's he's clean. Well, he ain't clean. He just don't trust you enough to you know let you know what he got going on or whatever. So you know, get back in there, get some information because if you don't, I'm saying I'm gonna take you down. Fine. Okay. What I do? Well, I heard him say that he gonna like um make the witness like you know leave or whatever. Like what? What? what he said what? He like yeah. Like I heard him say like she or whatever. So he know it's some girl. Okay. So, but anyway, because. Dre then told Cooper that ghosts know who the witness is. Cooper goes to the witness, the, the witness girl's house, which makes Dre find out the address. And Dre then texts Cooper. Dre then texts Proctor that he has the girl's address. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. okay. So we do see Jason. Jason goes to see ghosts at the club or whatever. And his main just say, hey, look. All this is going on. I just need you to know that, you know, your skills are always, you know, you know, you've been doing this and doing that. And, you know, I still want you to be my ditro over time. So if you take Tommy out and then you take his place, like I, re- I prefer you over, he really prefers Ghost. But Ghost is like, I'm, I'm done. I don't want to do that or whatever. Like, look, if you do it, I, I'm telling you, I will make you all oh, be forgiven or whatever. And you can make all this money. I'm not making no I'm not making no moves on Tommy. I'm done with that or whatever. I'm good. Okay, so either kill me right here in my club or we're done. Bye bye. So Jason just leaves or whatever. We then see Ghost going to his office, get some cash. Oh no, gets an envelope and a gun, and then tell Trey, come on, let's go. They then go to the witness girl house, okay? And now she's scared. Oh, She's so scared. Okay. Hi, right, what are you doing here? Because when she sees him, she knows, oh crap, this is I this, this I know who it is. This is ghost. It's the voice of the person, whatever. And then the whole time Dre is texting Cooper, like, yeah, hey, ghost just went and got a gun or whatever. Oh, ghost, he going to the girl house. Oh, he finna kill her. You know, you better get here. Okay, he like FBI on the way. But Ghost, like, look, you know what I'm saying? I know I took someone from you, whatever. I can't change that, you know what I'm saying? I, but revenge, you know, can only lead to something else or whatever. You know, you can't be trying to keep getting back at people or whatever. And, I, and he said, you know what? Again, this is a chance to change your life or whatever and not testify. He then drops the envelope. I'm assuming it's full of money on the table. And he leaves. And Dre the whole time... Thought he was going to kill her too, but he didn't. He let her live and walk out like, all right, come on, let's go. But the whole town, I'm looking like, Ghost, how do you not see Dre texting every two or three minutes? I'm like, are you not paying attention? They then leave, get in the car. Dre keep looking around, people, people. And in the rear view, you can see the FBI pull up. I'm like, how does Ghost not see any, I, the whole time, I'm like, okay, Dre gonna have to, not Dre, Ghost gonna have to at least say, Dre, give me your phone. Let me see, let me, let me, see, let me see your phone. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, they don't get caught, but I'm like, Dre is clearly, he don't care. He telling them I'm working for y'all, but he's still working. He's a double-crossing agent, okay? Ghost, please take Dre out. Please take him out, because he's just no good, okay? No good. And I'm like, how does Ghost... Who, he don't see any of it. He don't see the FBI pulling up. And they didn't pull up quietly. I just, I just can't. Anyway, we then see Tommy. Tommy goes to see Vincent. You know what I'm saying? Because Vincent, he wants Vincent to get product from him. And Vincent say, well, no, my product is good. Like, my product is fine. Like, I don't need your product. My product is really good. You know what I'm saying? He's like, well, well, well let me see it. Vincent then pull up, pull up the product. And Tommy like, this my shit. This my product. Where you get it from? He like, oh, okay. You know, from Kanan's friend. Little kid, about get high, little young, whatever. That's my godson. You, My godson? You work on my godson? Leave my godson alone, okay? Don't mess with him. And Vincent was like, I'm going to act like 
you tripping because I know your daddy died or whatever. I'm going to act like you didn't just say that because you the reason that my godson is dead. Okay, you got my godson killed. So miss me with the bullshit of it all, okay? So go ahead on about your business or whatever. Leave me be and kiss my ass, okay? Because I don't have time for it. I'm like, okay, yeah, so get out. And then Tommy does leave. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. He did not. So Cooper goes to Proctor. And basically says, like, look, you need to flip on Tommy or Ghost, okay? One of the two. Because they will eventually flip on you. Not only that, what's going to happen when you go to court for child custody, whatever, and because you are under investigation, your ex-wife will get your daughter. Because she doesn't have a case against her. Which makes Proctor get kind of nervous. He's like, oh, she does. You know, this it's a good possibility that because she is no longer a drug addict, she could really get my daughter. And I don't want that to happen. Because she's not a good person. So we then see Tommy go to see Tariq. Because he's pissed off that Tariq is working with Vincent, the Italian. Like, and not only that, you got where are you getting these drugs from, okay? So you're, you're a drug dealer now? That's what you do? That's what we're doing here now? That's what you're doing? Like, what, what are you talking about, Uncle Tommy? I know that you went to Vincent. I know this. I know that. Where is it? Where's Tommy? I don't know what you're talking about. So now Tommy looking through his room, like, looking for the drugs. And Tariq, so dumb, he has he has them in his room. He's like, this is my shit. How did you get my shit? Kanan. Kanan had a flop house or whatever. He had stuff there. And I figured he didn't need it. And now, so that's the last of it. Look son, you know what I'm saying, Tariq, I love you, man, you know, we don't want you in this lifestyle, like, we don't need you, I do not want you doing this stuff, you know what I'm saying, you can't be doing that, like, it's just stupid or whatever, stop, I need you to stop right now, okay, I love you, Tariq, all right, go Tommy, I'ma stop, that was the last stuff, you know what I'm saying, I'ma stop, I'm like, Tariq is not, <laughs> why do you believe in him, why, so, Ghost goes to talk to Tasha at her daycare because he's upset that she went behind his back and got the daycare open with Rashad and them. And she also, some kind of way, got some of that money back from the chop, the, 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 the rainer thing or whatever. So, he's pissed. I need that money. I'm like, half of it is mine, Ghost. I don't care. Leave me alone or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You had no right to go and close Raina's trust fund in the first place. She's my daughter too. And, and, and the whole queen child project is not even for Raina. That's for you. She would love this. Okay. She would love this dick here because it would help the people or whatever. And it would help put food on the table. Tasha, you trying to, you trying to run money through that shop. Tasha really acting like she's going to up and up and she isn't. But I digress. So as she walking in or whatever, and she do talk like you only had the queen child project because you felt guilty for what happened to Raina. So, as she talking, he walks in, okay? And Ghost is right there, okay? And Ghost is not happy, okay? This this, this is literally how, <laughs> this is, <laughs> I'm like, Ghost got his killer face on. <laughs> he ain't got to kill the vest on, but I'm like, Tasha, please tell Q to go away and to never come back, okay? Run away. And never return is what you need to tell him. Cause mm -mm. you see go safe, you see, and that girl save Q and tell him to go away. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Tasha takes you outside and like shows him the outside and stuff to, to to let it be whatever. So later on, he do come back to see her again. Like you know what I'm saying? So can we get that date or whatever? She's like, can, let's let's just talk. You know what? We can't do this or whatever. I did not. You know what? The other was a mistake or whatnot. Like we can't. This this can happen. He's like, but I like you. He said, I like you. I think you like me. Like, is it about your ex who was here earlier? She's like, look, I just can't do this. She's like, look, I've seen worse than him. I've dealt with worse than him. I can handle him. She's like, no. <laughs> no, you can't. He's like, I can't. I look, I ain't going nowhere. I like you. She's like, no, you need to leave. He seemed a bit crazy. So it's like, who crazy going to win? Him or a ghost. I don't so know. we see a quick scene where Tommy gets home, talks with his mama, whatever, because his mama tells him, like, look, you know, I was right about your daddy. I was right about Holly. I don't think you and Keisha going to make I don't think she right for you because Keisha has a son, and she will always put her son over you. And so, you know, it's different dating a woman who has a kid. Like, I just don't, like, Holly didn't have no kids or whatever, so that's this different. But, you know, this ain't the one for you, son. Get up, mom. Sh shut up. Get up. I don't care. You wasn't right about that 
horrible, Holly. Get out and get and just stay out. I'm like, Tommy, she right. Keisha ain't the one, bruh. She she just isn't, but I mean, girl, whatever. So we do see Tariq who go to talk to Vincent. Vincent pissed off. I can't believe you was, you know, he was smashed uh trick head into the uh, to the to the uh the bar or whatever. I can't believe you 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 you're taking from Tommy or whatever and saying you think you smart but you not smart or whatever, you know you a kid or whatever and you know you doing these things and you you getting messy. You being messy, you're gonna get caught, you're gonna be in up in over your head or whatever. So you know what? I want you to bring me back twice the amount of weight tomorrow. Okay, do that or else. And Tariq realized, oh shit, okay, and he leaves. But I'm looking like again Tariq don't really know what he doing. And he just making all kinds of mistakes or whatever. And Vincent says, how you know what I'm saying? We're going to use Tariq to control Tommy and Gus because they're going to do whatever they have to do to keep Tariq safe or whatnot. He says, we're gonna, we not going to kill him yet. Okay. We're going to leave Tariq alive until we can get everything that we need from him. And then we'll take him out. I'm looking like, <sighs> okay. So Proctor goes and drops the daughter off to this baby mama. And she's late. Okay. And he like, oh, it's okay. So they go in the house or whatever. Daughter goes upstairs and she checking her mail. So she's checking her mail. She see it's a letter from the board saying that she did not pass her her bar exam. She's not a lawyer. So she's not a lawyer, which means she gave the job, which means when she when they go to court, she won't look as good on paper as she thought she would. And so the whole time she's doing that, Proctor just like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're cool now. Like we need to stop arguing so much and whatever. You know, it's like, oh, happens for us, but us arguing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You doing good, your new job. You know, you're a lawyer now and everything. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you get spending time with our daughter. Me, I'm doing okay. I didn't met somebody new, or whatever. Um, we do. She, she's really good with our daughter. What? Who? Wait, what? What? Oh yeah, it's my assistant or whatever. I feel I'm gonna propose. Shows her a whole ring. I'm gonna propose to her, or whatever. Like, so we both gonna have like these great lives or whatever, and it's cool. And you can tell she pissed. Oh, she pissed. And so he leaves, and he leaves, and she starts spiraling. Okay, she in her house looking through drawers, looking through cabinets, looking through purses, looking through wallets, trying to find a little dust of the cocaine. And she finds a little Ziploc baggie and an old purse, and just wets her gums, and then texts. Her dealer to bring us some more stuff. I'm like, oh, it's just not gonna be good. Anyway, so because he leaves, he gets called back. Okay, because the daughter calls Proctor. Why? Because mommy is high and she in there high as a kite. And she talking to herself. Oh, I know how I messed up on the bar. I know I did not answer this question. So in her head, she was getting high trying to figure out how she did not pass the bar. Now clearly, Proctor sent her that letter to make her spiral. Clearly, he sent her that letter. And then told her he was getting he was getting engaged because he knew it would set her off and she would get back on drugs. Because again, if she high, if she's high, he gets to keep the daughter. And so she's like, you know, I just it's I, I know what I did. I know what I did. I know what I did. He's like, how much did you take? Like, what you doing? You don't dress. Look, she's like, you know, what? I don't I don't feel good. You know, call nine one one. He's like, well, no, we can't do that because you know we called nine one one and we recorded. Like, what did you what did you take? So he's asking her, like, what, what happened, what happened, what happened? She's like, I don't feel good. And she kind of falls back a little bit. And he picks his phone up. He dials 9 and he waits. And he waits. And then she ODs. He then says, I will never, ever let you get our daughter. And I'm like, oh, shit. He let her die. He But as the camera pans, it pans over to the unicorn recording. So the recording heard their conversation and heard her say call 911 and they heard him not call 911 or get her no water or was he like, oh my God, what's going on? But it did hear him say, you know what I'm saying? I will never let you have our daughter or whatever. Oh so we see Tommy and Keisha in the bed together. Yeah. He said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? My mom don't think you made out of his life or whatever, you know? She don't think I, 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 she don't, she don't think I can trust you. And for that reason, you know, it's because you have a kid or whatever. And she's like... You can trust me, you know. You know you can trust me, whatever. I know, I know that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I remember you told me that you would stick with me, you know, no matter what happened between me and Ghost. Whatever. Yeah, and I meant that. He said, okay, because now you know things gonna be really, things gonna be bad or whatever. I used to think that Ghost was my family, but now I realized all I needed was you in cash. <sighs> I just don't like how they're really taking these two who were like brothers for all these years, and now they're like mortal enemies. I just, uh, 
every episode, the more and more timing goes go separate the more and more i'm like i don't like this like it's kind of it's kind of boring now anyway we see ghosts at his house and he's uh, imagine that adler's still talking to him or whatever and she's like you know uh you know he's telling her like i lied when i told you i did what happened with silver you know i did kill silver you know what i'm saying i did it whatever and it's my fault that you did too you know said that's my fault too you know i'm sorry when i saw you that one night i didn't just walk away i'm sorry about because she's in the dress that she was wearing the night they met when, all them years ago well season one he's like but i'm done with, i'm done with, i'm done with the past I need to let go of this anger, whatever. I have all this anger in me and it's eating me alive or whatever. I it's killing me. I have to let it go, which means I have to let I have to let things go with Tommy. And I'm like, okay, I I, I like that, okay. Even if they not cool, this we don't need to beef no more. I mean that's just team too much for me. That's team too much for me. He said, I don't want anyone else to die or whatever. And then, you know, um <sighs> Because he's hallucinating, I'm like, how much of this is real? How 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 much of it is really real that he's seen? And I feel like we see he takes a drink here or there. And I feel like when he drink, that's when he hallucinates and sees her. Because remember, Ghost didn't drink in, in any of the old seasons. He just not starting drink, starting to drink, and I think it's kind of crazy. You know, like, I'm going to be, you know, who you wanted me to be. And she says, how do you know that you can even be that man? Because the witness, you know, I found her and I let her go. I didn't kill her. And she says, but you will. And it goes off. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like power no more. I mean, it's still hit or whatever. It's still cool. But I feel like it's missing. I feel like, I don't, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Put y'all put in the comment section if y'all feel like this season is like a running thing. Like, oh, it's this the stuff. I feel like Ghost and Tommy been beefing for like three seasons now, and I'm tired of it. Like they ain't been cool for like a good three seasons, and I'm like, that can't continue to be, you know what? I, 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 girl, I don't know. Let me go. I I, I I gotta go. Okay, peace.